here with Neil Melanson, Randy Couture's BJJ coach, and his wife, Erin Tohill. And so you guys are obviously busy, but first let's, let's talk to you a little bit about Randy and, and what Randy did tonight, pulling out the third uh, submission of his career. You know, how does that feel to, to see your work in action? Uh, it feels great. It feels great. And, uh, yeah, we put a lot of hard work in, and I think there's going to be many more, honestly. He's... You know, I'm actually not a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guy. Um, I'm more of a uh, no. It's, yeah, I'm a catch wrestler. Yeah. Um, no insult to BJJ. I don't think they want to. You know, I'm just never wore a gi before. So, um, but uh, Randy's really fired up about the catch wrestling mindset and a little bit of stylistic. You know that we have, and uh, he's submission hungry, and he's got a couple submissions in his library right now that he is very, very good at. And to be honest with you, this fight I was really hoping to showcase more of his grappling. And it just didn't happen. It happened so quick. He got him on the ground. He finished him. But uh, the Brandon Vera fight, I was really hoping that if he got him on the ground, we're going to show you all our hard work. So honestly, you have, it, there's so much technique. Randy's such a good grappler now, and the world still hasn't seen it yet. So when that fight happens, then I'll be a little more excited about it. But And what about Randy? Or how did Randy get excited? when you know What are the, some of the things that got him excited when you were working with him and showing him these new catch wrestling moves? Well, it's just because, I think it's because he has a wrestling background. And I started, even though I don't have a wrestling background, and to me, it's just whatever the best way to do something is, the way, is what I do. And uh, I learned from all different types of styles, judo, jiu-jitsu, whatever it may be. But um, with Randy, I thought, you know, there's a lot of mat work in wrestling. It's not just takedowns, there's a lot of mat work. And a lot of those guys, when they transfer to MMA, they stop doing all that great mat work and, and as far as their styles of grappling. And I think Randy had gotten away from it so bad, and I started showing him stuff. He's like, "I did this in college. I did this in high school. I used to do this in high school, and all these old principles." And he started getting fired up, and he's like, "Man!" And when I started tapping into him, he knew more than he could imagine. And when I trained, I trained, uh, I trained um, uh, no, um, I just fought Nick D uh, Nate Diaz. I'm brain fart. Gray uh, Maynard, Gray. sorry. Yeah, yeah I worked with Gray. And it was the same kind of thing. It's, it's like, wow, I did this you know, in the past. So, and uh, Randy's really excited about it. He wants, he's got a lot of submissions, and he's got a, I guess he got like a, a great uncle or something that was an old school catch wrestler. Uh, ironically, his name was like the uh, Coleman the Crusher or something like that. So, but uh, Randy's really excited about it. And Extreme Couture's were really building a good team of these wrestlers coming in. And I'm not a, like I said, I, I'm not a, even a wrestler, but. You know, uh, we've got a great team of guys working together. I think this year is going to be a breakout year. I think my wife's going to win the title against Cyborg. So Stream Couture is going to be the number one gym in the country by December. I guarantee it. And for Aaron, what did you see being around the gym? You know, you're training yourself and you're also there for, for Neil and seeing Randy. Uh, what about Randy's game impressed you in this camp? Well, I think his uh, determination, and I think the biggest thing with somebody like him, what separates somebody from being here and somebody up here is not being complacent and being coachable. So those are the two biggest things that I think distinguish him from everybody else, is that no matter the age he is or how much he knows, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, is that he's willing to learn, he's open to learning, and he's coachable. You know, he listens. and. I mean, I think that goes all around. Even, you know, I train, when I trained Rob McCullough, I've trained a lot of men. I, I even held paths for Randy a couple times when his regular, you know, when Gil couldn't fill in. It's a pretty amazing thing, a guy like Randy and saying, okay, a woman, here's a woman that's gonna hold boxing mitts for you. That's, I think anybody else who wasn't in the game, they would be like, a woman, who, what's this girl gonna know? He's very open and, and just reiterating that that's the biggest thing and he will just keep reaching because he's so open you're considered to be the number one contender for cyborg in strike force however you're not you're not being broadcast you know you didn't have a fight on their card no one's seen that you're the number one contender but how do you feel about that um, well, let's just say I've been talking to a lot of people who are very, very reliable, and um, I, I know that I will get a warm-up fight before Cyborg. Uh, ironically, she passed me in the hall tonight, and uh, it was very interesting. I, I don't want to comment more than that, but uh, I know it's a fight that I'm going to win. I know it's a fight that I can win, and when the opportunity is given to me, 
I'm going to win in a decisive fashion. So she's, you know, like as Gina, she did great things for the sport. Cyborg has beat her and has done great things for the sport. And there will be somebody after her, and that's going to be me. I've been waiting for a long time, longer than both Gina and her combined. So uh, I paid my dues, and I'm ready. And like I said, I got my husband training me. I got Ray Seffa as one of my coaches. I can't, I, I can't even tell you the people who are behind me. And Randy, these guys believe in me. They watch me every day, and uh, they know what I'm capable of. And it's just a matter of uh, getting able to show what I'm capable of. So it's going to be soon. It's going to be in the next few months. So. Any last words from MMA's power couple? <laughs> newlyweds uh, I like that you know just uh, su support yes. the sport in general women um, you know this is an amazing man he's uh, a little quote unquote newer to the sport but he's awesome I mean I, I can't even tell you he's very shy he's obviously he's not self deprecating but he you know I got guys like Chael guys like Vitor Belfort Matt Lynn and some of the best guys in the world and they are saying that this man is the best ground guy they've ever worked with. You'll never hear that coming out of his mouth. I'm more than happy to articulate that for him. So, you know, that says something. This guy's a hard worker. He works with Randy. He's behind the scenes. But, you know, with him in my corner, it's like I'm known for my striking. I can knock out any woman. I can knock out a lot of the guys yeah, that I train with. Like you know, ask some of the guys that yeah. I train with a at the gym. A lot of guys don't want to spar with her, not because she's a woman, because they're afraid of getting hurt. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, I, you know, I just, hilarious. like we said, we're ready for uh, the year, what 2010 brings, and I'm excited, and I got a, my soulmate by my side. How cheesy is that? But, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> what a way to end the interview with the kiss. Yeah.